Okay, Title VIII, Section 1324, Bringing in and Harboring Certain Aliens. Okay, I've talked about this code section in shorts, but I thought we ought to sit down here at the desktop and run through what this statute does, because this is an incredibly powerful statute that can be used to shut down everything and to prosecute the criminals who have done everything when Donald Trump reaches office, because, of course, only the DOJ can press charges, and we know the Biden administration is going to charge anyone. They're breaking the law as policy under this statute by aiding and abetting the bringing in of the illegal aliens into America. So let's review this real quick, what the statute says. Uh, maybe not real quick. Title VIII, United States Code 1324, bringing in and harboring certain aliens. A, criminal penalties. 1A, knowing that a person is an alien, brings to or attempts to bring to the United States in any manner whatsoever such person at a place other than a designated port of entry or place other than as designated by the commissioner, regardless of whether such alien has received prior authorization to come to enter or reside in the United States and regardless of any future official action which may be taken with respect to such alien. So if you try to bring someone in or attempt to bring them in, it's a crime. Or knowing or in reckless disregard of the fact that an alien has come to, entered or remains in the United States in violation of law, transports or moves or attempts to transport or move such alien. That's a crime. Transporting and moving aliens who are here illegally. That's a crime. Knowing, where do we want to, we missed that line. Knowing or in reckless disregard of the fact that an alien has come to in violation of law, transports or moves. We just did that. Three, knowing or in reckless disregard of the fact that an alien has come to, entered or remains in the United States in violation of law conceals, harbors, or shields from detection, or attempts to conceal, harbor, or shield from detection, such alien in any place, including any building or any means of transportation. Well, does that include courthouses where judges let them stay? Well, I think it does. That makes the judge a criminal. Four, encourages or induces an alien to come to, enter, or reside in the United States, knowing or in reckless disregard of the fact that such coming to entry or residence is or will be in violation of law. So you can't reside or house them. Five, engages in any conspiracy to commit any of the precepts, anyone conspiring to assist these, or V, aids or abets the commission of any of the preceding acts. So to commit, to plan to commit, to aid or abet, the admission of an alien, the transportation of an alien, the concealment of an alien, or the housing of an alien is all crimes punishable by B, a person who violates the subparagraph A shall for each alien. I think this makes Biden administration cabinet members responsible for millions of counts. For each alien in respect to whom such violation occurs in the case of violation subparagraph A1 or V1 or in the case imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. In the case of these violations, five years or both. In the case of these violations, 20 years if serious bodily injury causes is, is caused to happen to anyone as a result of the crime being committed. And this last one says punishable by death if the crime results in the death of any person. It is, okay, here's an exemption for religious entry by invite from the church. Okay, here's uh, any person disregarding and not receive prior official authority. So if you know that they're not here illegally, not here legally, that makes it a crime to be involved with anything. And down here, here's an interesting statute. B, seizure and forfeiture. Any conveyance, including any vessel, vehicle, or aircraft that has been or is being used in the commission of a violation of subsection A, the gross proceeds of such violation and any property traceable to such conveyance or proceeds shall be seized and subject to forfeiture. Now, what this means is that the private 
the airlines that are giving the use of their planes to the federal government, Joe Biden, and being paid by the government to violate the law, those companies' planes can be seized by Donald Trump when he takes office. The statute of limitations on these crimes will not have run out. The companies have made a mistake in allowing their planes to be used by the federal government to violate federal law. Those assets that have been used to assist the violation of the law can be seized by the next president and prosecuted. There's no promise that government policy won't change and that those in power now violating the law, they can't forgive the crimes being committed by these people. Can't pardon them because they're not charged. Now, when Donald Trump gets in office, he can go after the seizure of every single one of these planes being used by these companies that think they can get paid to violate the law with immunity. That's a mistake. The statute says it's a law, it's a crime for them to transport or move the aliens. It says the government can seize the assets being used to do that. It also says it can put these people in in jail for up to 20 years, 10 years, five years, for every alien brought into the country. That means all of these mules they're letting go, all of the cartel who are conducting the trade of the catch, why are they letting them go? They need to be put in jail to stop it. If you don't put the people in jail who you catch cutting, committing the criminal act, you're just going to go back and do it again and bring more in. You need to arrest the people and imprison them. So this code section is incredibly powerful. It points out that the entire Biden policy is illegal, that Secretary Mayorkas can be charged 8 million times under these statutes for this policy. So this is what needs to be enforced. We don't need any new immigration law. The control is all right here. We've already let in over 10 million in the last three and a half years. Joe's going to continue to process them right in. Criminals, communist Chinese, Iranian terrorists, Houthi terrorists, they're going to let them all in. They're going to let them all in. They're not even trying. They're not even trying. And Texas, of course, has shown us Donald Trump was right. All we ever really needed to do was build a fence because everywhere where the state of Texas has told the federal government to get out, we're taking over since you're not doing your job, you've abdicated and left us at the mercy of this criminal invasion. Everywhere in Texas, the state of Texas has taken over and put up the razor wire barricades, the border is closed. It's quiet and not being assaulted anymore. The fence worked. Donald Trump was right. And what have the illegal aliens done? They've decided to go and crash the border in Arizona and California where there is no fence or National Guard preventing them from entering or federal government officials. As it turns out, fences work. Donald Trump was right. The Texas border has been closed, and now the aliens are rushing California and Arizona. Texas is probably happy about that, but I'm not so sure the rest of us should be. But check this statute out. Call it to the attention of your congressmen and your senators. Tell them this is what should be enforcing, and for God's sake, when Donald Trump gets into office, this is the statute you weaponize against the Democrats. This statute can be used to put in jail every single Democrat official in every single sanctuary city where that official has come out in support of the sanctuary city policies, which, of course, is a federal crime of aiding and abetting the illegal aliens by providing housing, communication, transportation, and dollars that should be spent on Americans, not foreigners. You want control of your immigration policy back, 
All you have to do is enforce this statute. That's all you have to do. Enforce this statute. It's on the books. It exists. We don't need new law. We need federal law enforcement officials who will actually enforce the law instead of committing treason and violating it repeatedly as a matter of policy.